2018 was was certainly good good for us. I think there was a, a broadly supportive market, and I think also some of the initiatives we'd, uh, some of the steps we'd taken back in 2017, including some fee reductions, really started to bear fruit for us. So, so yeah, you know, 18 was a good year. But I believe that actually one of the nice things about the LME as a relatively underdeveloped market structure is there is an awful lot more to deliver. I think there's a whole set of participants out there who we can bring in, bring into our community who perhaps aren't trading with us at the moment. And yeah, we've looked at doing that in the past, but we've perhaps taken the wrong route because we thought we had to make fundamental market structure reforms to bring in new trading participants. I think in our new environment, in the, the, the new methodology that we unveiled as part of our strategic pathway, we believe that we can actually use our employer user choice model. So, so let me just give you an example of that. We've rolled out our implied pricing, as I mentioned earlier. You know, there's always been this debate on the LME about whether we should be a daily forwards market or whether we should be a monthly futures market. And nobody is ever going to win one side or the other of that. You know, there's always going to be competing priorities, competing demands. So what we said with implied pricing is, look, let's try and build electronic monthly liquidity for the people who want that while still respecting the fact that our physical market is generally trading on that daily date structure. And the implied pricing allows us to hook up the liquidity around the rolling three month and the date structure for the physical guys and the monthly liquidity for the financial guys and to actually bring those two pools of orders into, into a single basis of liquidity. And you know, that's something that we, we built the technology for, we've deployed, and actually if you look at the bid offer spreads on the, uh, the monthlies, the monthly contracts on, on LME Select, you know, they're tighter than they, they've really ever been. So that's a great example of where we can now say to our friends in the financial community, look, we haven't fundamentally changed our market structure, we haven't become a monthly futures market, because that wouldn't be the right decision for our, core, for our core stakeholders. But what we have done is built the liquidity on the curve where you asked us to build it, and now we'd like you to come and, and see if the LME works for you. One of the great things we did as part of our technology build last year was to roll out our LME source multicast market data product. And that's actually based on the Hong Kong Orion market data platform. And actually taking that theme forwards, we've committed that the next generation of our trading platform, we're gonna build off the Hong Kong Orion trading platform, which currently powers the cash markets out in Hong Kong. We are embarking in, I think, the most ambitious technology lift in the history of the LME. As I say, we spent a lot of time in 2018 building some of our tactical things like trade at settlement or implied pricing um, or, or, uh, or you know, VWAP trading, which, which many other markets have as standard. What I'm exciting is in 2019 and 2020, we want to accelerate from just catching up on technology to being a real technological leader. So just to give you an example of some of the things that we want to do, we want to rip out all of our systems interconnections, you know, this spaghetti that every exchange group ends up with, and replace that with an event streaming platform, which is going to be our, um, our core communications and messaging protocol between all the upstream and downstream systems systems on our network. And we think that will fundamentally liberate uh, the way that we, we do technology deployment. You know, we want to look at our clearing platform and think about how we can deploy that as a set of microservices, which we're going to do first with our move to VAR. You're saying that clearing platforms don't have to be these single monolithic um, you know, things that you, you buy from huge technology providers, that we can build microservices on our event stream platform, taking the best of breed of vendors and internal development for each of those for each of those services and then in the trading platform itself you know, we're very excited about how we can deliver a much lower latency uh, and better uh, customer experience mm -hmm.